Alright, welcome back. This is a review for Fruits Basket 2019, episode 20. And in this episode, we meet Hero, the sheep, who is, uh, well, I want to say, uh, he's kind of controversial, but not really controversial. It's just, there's pretty much a split group. Either you love him or you hate him. There's some people in between. Um, I'm in the group that I actually really love his character. He's, yes, he's an annoying, kind of annoying little brat character, but... Where what happens, what he goes through, and the event who was eventual change, I actually overall like his character. Plus, I mean, even as a even at this stage when you first meet him, he's I still think he's a cute kid. <laughs> he he definitely needs some a little bit of tough love and definitely some discipline, but overall he's still a good kid. Um, uh, for the most part, in terms of story wise between um the anime and the manga, uh, there's really not, story-wise, there's really not too big of a difference, um, uh, besides the fact that this actually happens later after where this season is going to be ending at, this actually happens, this actually supposed to happen afterwards, this is actually like one of the first events that happens after, or the first, this is the first Zodiac that you're supposed to meet after the events of, um, where this season is going to be ending at. Uh, but it's fine. I, I understand why they re why it's being rearranged and whatnot. Um, the only other thing, and and then well, and then in terms of comparing, well, another thing com in terms of comparing this to the the manga is that um, it's actually you're supposed to meet Hiro and then you're supposed to meet Ritsu. So it's kind of weird that they reversed them, but I actually think it works better this way with how they decided to set up this season in terms of how they decided to rearrange things. Because instead of it being like, oh, you meet Kisa and then right afterwards you meet Hiro, it's like, no, you give it a, a little, there's a little bit more of a time break. So it's not just, it doesn't just seem like, oh, he just immediately comes right afterwards. It's like, okay, no, there's a little bit. Because even in the manga, there was a time break between, um, when you met Kisa and then when you met Hiro, but of course there was the ending of that, the stuff that's in between was the stuff that we haven't actually gotten to yet in the anime. Um, but, uh, I, it, I mean, it's fine. It, they, it works out the way they did it. Um, it, it just, I just feel like it makes more sense in this case because it, it gives more of a break between what, uh, Hiro, meeting Hiro and Kisa, instead of it just being, you know, back to back. Because it could have been set up that way. Uh, but they decided to switch Hero and read Zeus. And it, it worked out. It's fine. Um, so besides that, the only other thing is... Um, between this version and the 2001 version, there's really not too much of a difference. It pretty much, again, plays out the same. I think the really only difference is that in the 2000... It's just the location is changed where you first meet Hero at. Or not where not where you first meet him, but where that big where where Keo runs into Hero and the, and then everyone kind of meets up there. Um, in the 2001 version, it was in some random little park. Here they have it out the steps to Shigure's house. Um, and of course, in the manga, it's completely different. I won't tell you where that's at because that's kind of a spoiler as to where that take that's at. Um, but yeah, it, it it's a bit different. And I think the only other thing that they left out of the 2001 version, which um, is they did have the di they did have that brief conversation between Hattori and Shigure, but they left out the dialogue where Shigure mentions like, oh well, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah, me and Akita are scheming, but Akita will be the only one who actually has to pay for it. Uh, they left out that dialogue in the 2001 version. Um, I think the only over thing that both versions of the anime left out is. Um, Hero actually, Hero and Kisa actually meeting up Toru at their at her school, and that's when he's like, "Hey, take us someplace," and she takes him to the park um, because there's a funny little dialogue that happens between um, Hero and some of her some of the school kids there. It's it it, it really is just him being more sarcastic and the way he is, but it's it's funny regard. It's kind of funny. Um. Anyway, so story-wise, you get Hero, who obviously, he, he kind of starts off, when you get the impression, oh, he's just kind of just some punk little bratty kid, or whatever, and and, and, and even when, in, that, you know, is having issues, um, 
pretty much expressing his emotions because it's he's kind of getting really he's new to these emotions. He's new to kid. He's an adolescent. He's going through puberty. You know, all these little hormonal things are happening to him, and you know, it's hard for him or whatever. And so it, it's like, okay, that, that's initially what you think is kind of going on initially. Like, oh, you know, that that's what was happening. But then you actually, in pretty much the second half of the episode, you actually find out more so about why Hiro really is acting the way he is, especially towards Toru. And that is, it isn't just because, oh, he just doesn't like Toru. It's more so that he... Or that he's jealous because Keith is giving her all the attention. It, it is really more of he's. I mean, yes, he's jealous, but it's a thing of, he, he wanted to be what, Toru is to Kisa at the moment. He wanted to be the one to save Kisa, because you know him. Because you find out that him and Kisa had actually been friends for a while, until, uh, he eventually Hiro told Akito that oh he he liked Kisa, and then of course Akito as punishment for Hiro ended up attacking and pretty much putting Kisa in the hospital for like two weeks. Um, and Hiro felt guilty about that. He felt that it was his fault for doing that. And so he distanced, he distanced himself from Kisa. And of course it was during this time that she started getting bullied and he wanted to help but he felt like he would only wind up making the situation worse because he... Because again, he had, he had already felt guilty, and he already caused her trouble enough that he's like, I don't, I don't want to cause her any more trouble than I already am, than I already have. Because again, he felt like it was his fault. Um, and then of course, then Toru comes in, and she helps Kisa out, and she becomes pretty much the emotional support that Kisa needed, and that Hiro couldn't be to her at that time. And so Hiro, and he, that that's why he's like he's an antagonistic towards Toru, and that he. He wanted to be the one. He was like, why couldn't I have been that way? That's And of course, then when you get to his speech near the end, where he goes, you know, why am I such a child? Why, you know, why why is it like, I, can't, I want to be an adult. I want to act like an adult. I want to be able to protect Kisa, but I'm just a kid, and I can't do any of these things yet. And whether that's because I'm not old enough or I'm not strong enough to, or whether it's just because I'm not emotionally mature enough to do these things yet. And I just haven't been able to figure out how to do them. Or how to react properly in these sorts of situations. Um, and, you know, Toru says, you know, you know here, you're, you're strong for this. And she, she is right, you're, you're, you're strong for admitting that, yeah, you want to you wanna get stronger, you want to be better. But you're, you're strong for that, you're, to admit that you're still a child, that you still act in childish ways, that you still think and react and do things in childish ways and that you know that these are childish ways and that you want to get better and that you want to become more mature you don't want to stay in that position of which you are now you actually do want to become better you want to be more mature and act like more of an adult and she says you know because there's some people out there who they they can't do that they don't want to they may be an adult, but they but they're scared to admit that they yeah they still act childish. They still do and say and act in childish ways, and that they instead of wanting and that even though they're an adult and that they now have to bear the responsibilities and the consequences of being an adult and and of the actions of which they take or the things of which they do or the things of which they say as an adult and have to bear the responsibilities and the consequences of those things, they would prefer not to and prefer and prefer make and want to make it so that it's someone else's fault. Which is more which which is what a child would do in that when a child gets in trouble, especially if it's a young child, they typically yeah, they'll get in trouble and sometimes they'll have to take the responsibility of it, but sometimes it's also the parent the parent also has to take responsibility with it as well. Especially in terms of making sure to discipline the child to make sure that they don't do said thing again. And so, and it, anyway, but as Tori was saying, you know, it, it's hard even as an adult to admit that you know we sometimes act still as children. So you're actually very courageous and very brave and strong to admit that that you, that you are still a child, and that and that you're not strong enough, and that you can't that you couldn't protect Kisa. And sure, you're not 
this princely character of whom you want to be at the moment. But one day, as long as you keep that courage with you, you'll one day be able to act that. When you keep moving forward, you'll be able to eventually act the way that, in an adult manner, and act the way, in a more princely manner that you want to for Kisa. And, and you'll be able to protect her as long as you keep moving forward and trying to actually be more mature. And, and of course, that kind of... And, Hero kind of was like, okay, he kind of, he was like, okay, that's that's a nice speech, okay, it's good, and he, you know, he pays for the crepes that they had at the end, um, and he's like, yeah, sure, I, you know, and he has, he has that very ending dialogue where it's like, yeah, sure, I probably it's gonna be hard for me, and like, you know, what if I can't actually become a princely character like she says? What if I can't become someone that can protect Kisa, and do all the things? Is she gonna take responsibility for that? And he says, and then of course he looks at Kisa and goes, "No, I I will become that person. I will become someone who is strong enough to protect Kisa and make sure that nothing like that ever happens to her again." And it's very sweet, and it's very fun. <laughs> now, I mean, and, and the episode itself was fun and it's cute. Um, now, one of the things, and I'm not going to get too much into it now because it's it much later, but. Something that's really unique about Hero's character is that he's one of the few Zodiacs who actually doesn't initially latch on to Toru. And even there at the end, you could say that he doesn't really latch on to her, and you know, like he doesn't really like her. Even even that even from the beginning, even now at the end of the episode, to say that he still doesn't like too super fond of her or whatever. But he does, in a sense, at least can respect her a little bit, and he he sees her as someone who can be something that he's not but it's he, hero himself is something that it's he, he he becomes a really fun character especially the way his character changes over time uh throughout the series and it's it's gonna be a fun watch he's a fun character um very enjoyable character um again he, and I, again i can't go too much into it but he's the only one that has the sort of relationship he does with toru and because of the relationship that he has with Toru, um, he's really the only one to ever say some of the things that he says to her later on. And so it's it's very interesting and it's fun. Um, but other than that, next episode should be pretty f interesting. Should be fun. We'll see how we'll see how the next five episodes are go because these are the from the next five episodes on where it's going to be where I'm a little bit more unsure of how everything's going to play out. Um, but other than that, that's really about it, so thanks for watching, and bye for now.